Erica Johnson has asked if woke rubbish is behind the BBC's decision to make a perplexing and disappointing change to the reboot of Gladiators. Ulrika Johnson has been left unimpressed by the BBC's decision to axe cheerleaders and skimpy outfits from the reboot of Gladiators. The G-Force squad were a prominent part of the original show, performing dance routines alongside the stars. In her new column, original host Ulrika Johnson, 56, questioned, where are the cheerleaders? I think the public will be as perplexed as me about their disappearance. I don't know if this is some kind of woke rubbish but it's disappointing. Cheerleaders add another dimension to the program and make it feel more layered. The cheerleaders also serve the purpose of entertaining the audience in the arena, too. They always had cheeky routines which put a big smile on people's faces. Despite her disappointment over the loss of the cheerleaders, Ulrika, who presented the show for eight years, added in the sun that she wishes the show well. She concluded, it's a big blast of fun for a Saturday night, like the good old days of family telly. Because the key to the original's huge success was that it was entertainment for the whole family. Ulrika is not the only original cast member to be left baffled by the axing of the cheerleaders. Ultimate Gladiator Hunter, real name James Crossley, lamented that the girls were vital in entertaining the crowd. While debating the issue on Good Morning Britain earlier this week, Hunter said, They were a huge part of the show. Bear in mind when we were filming Gladiators, each show took five hours to film and what you didn't see which what the amazing dance routines these girls did. They're all professional dancers, and they were keeping the crowd amused. You look at the crowd and they're all going another one bites the dust. It is the cheerleaders kicking that off. However, author Daisy Buchanan argued, I love G-Force, but it made me think I just wanted to be, you know, pretty and thin and there to support the main action. Having those old school cheerleaders made me think I could never be a part of the main event. So that's why I think it's really progressive to ditch them and make the show new. New host Bradley Walsh actually met his wife, Donna Derby, through the show because she was the head choreographer for G-Force for all eight of the original series.